We are recording. Yay. So I'm Catherine Winslow. For those of you I haven't had a chance to meet yet, and I'm a certified aromatherapist and a doTERRA wellness advocate. And some of us are really enjoy DIY, especially with uh, for cleaning products to keep it clean, cleaning products here in our home. And um, what could be better than using it with uh, uh, doTERRA essential oils to make it even better and, and be able to clean. So um, welcome everybody. Uh, you wanna introduce yourselves. Uh, Eden is my uh, co-DIYer today. Hello. This is so fun, I'm so excited. I'm Eden. And I am one of the team partners in our amazing, amazing doTERRA fun club. <laughs> that's what I think it is. Or that's what I feel like it is. So anyway, I have some goodies today for you guys too. I'm excited. So yay. Um, Laura and Lauren, welcome. You guys are kind of new, kind of just getting started. It sounds like you're excited about uh, doing some uh, some DIY. In this particular case, uh, for cleaning products, there's other things to do too, like skincare and, uh, and stuff. So, but let's get started. Let me tell you the easiest, easiest, simple, simple uh, one that I love to share with folks that are just getting started is um, a bathroom, uh, well, it's where I use it in the bathroom. Can you see that? I know it's backwards. Mold and mildew preventer. And so even though this is glass, which we want to use glass and stainless steel when we're dealing with um, essential oils because the plastics break down. Um, but even using glass in my shower, I've, I, I, it, I've had it in there probably, even I think you gave me this recipe maybe four years ago or more, and I haven't broken it yet. So uh, anyway, the, I've got an eight ounce bottle here. And so for you guys that were just getting started, you uh, had in your welcome pack, I think an eight ounce bottle and in your little drawstring bag, there was some labels. So the one that I'm gonna choose to here today is the mold and mildew preventer. It has, um, I, I was so clever to put the picture of the shower stall on there. Um, but what I like to do is put the recipe on the label, on the bottle, so I don't have to go look it up in my uh, three ring binder every time or my uh, essential life book. And what I would suggest whenever you're doing any kind of DIY, uh, especially with essential oils, but really any in these bottles, whether it's roller bottles or these, put your label on first because then if you spill oil or whatever on the bottle and then try to put the label on, it can be um, frustrating. So put your label on first. And a lot of times I like to just use plain uh, paper labels, just inexpensive. And um, so when I do that, especially if I know it's gonna be in a wet area, I'll just get some packing tape and put over the top of it. Or uh, sometimes I've had labels on, um, on real small bottles that didn't want to stick at the sides. And when I put that packing tape around there, it'll go ahead and hold it on there. So if you put your label on, and um, actually this is mine from my shower, and I'm gonna, it needs refilling. So this is how simple this is. So, so simple. So 15 drops of Melaleuca, which is common name is uh, tea tree, and five drops of peppermint. So I've got my oil bag, I don't know if you can see it. I have them alphabetic. Everybody has their own way that, um, that they like to organize their oils. I like for them to be alphabetic. So 
five drops of peppermint. Peppermint's one of my favorite, y'all that know me know, but so versatile and so, so fresh smelling. And then Melaleuca tea tree, 15 drops of that. I can't talk and count at the same time. Um, and right now, boy, I, tea tree is one that we're using for so many different things because it's so antimicrobial. And um, I've got my, my water here. Fill it up. And if I lift the funnel a little bit, it'll let the air in. So then it gets stuck in the, in the funnel and plopped in there. So that's about right. Whew, that's good. And that's it. That's how hard that is. Um, so what I do is um, when I'm when we're done in the shower, I'll um, now I have a squeegee in my shower, and I'll squeegee down the walls and the glass, and that means I have to clean it much much less. Um, <laughs> because here in Central Texas, I don't know about where y'all are, but uh, we have really hard water, and um, the scaling gets on the tiles and the in the glass. So if I use that squeegee and I just keep it right there in the shower, squeegee it down, then I'm, I'm done. And um, then I'll take the uh, mold and mildew spray and spray it around, especially in the corners. And, and I don't have any, any trouble with it. So that's how simple that was. Did I miss anything, Eden? No, and that's a game changer. If you, if you just make that a part of your shower experience, Every time, it's it's so great because I'm telling you, um, I hate cleaning bath tubs and showers more than anything. <laughs> I'd rather scrub yeah. toilets because it's like well, it's I such a pain. So it's it's. I have your windows open because it's absolutely gorgeous here, and my neighbors are evidently doing some uh, yard work or something. Can can y'all hear? I can't. You don't hear them. Okay. I don't know what kind of a chainsaw or something he's got going on over there, but if it gets loud, y'all tell me. Well, so that was my easy peasy first recipe. Eden, I'm gonna turn it over to you and what you got on the agenda first thing. So, my thing, Eden. Can y'all see me? Yeah. Sure. That was cool. So we were supposed to make that, right? <laughs> I made it. What well, you can make it now or? Or make it later. You got the, the okay. recipe there on your uh yes. on your label. I remember you, you recommended this to me a while back and I did use it for a while and it really did help. So I'm glad you reminded me of that. Thank you. So I have one of my new my newest favorites to make is making your own wet wipes out of recycled canisters or whatever you want to use. Um, and paper towels. The hardest part is making the paper towel short. It's, you gotta put a little elbow into it. Take, so I take the middle out first. And so what I usually do is, is I, as I, I put my finger in there and I like push it around and as far down as I can on both sides and kind of twist it and then I'll pull it out and that's a pain. And then you get a big knife and I've learned that you want to get a knife that's straight, not the one that's, what is it, serrated? Is that how the word, um, it's like the, the jagged knife edge. Don't use the jagged knife edge because then you're going to have tons and tons of snow. <laughs> don't use yes. that one. Yes, don't use that one. And this, this really is the hard part. So cutting through this paper towel is a pain. So anyway, um, that's the hard part. The rest is easy breezy. This is actually one of my old trim shake, the doTERRA trim shake containers. And this one works really well um, for whenever you put it in half. You see it's kind of like almost perfect size. 
And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a half a cup to a cup of water. I usually get um, purified water. Put it in a bowl. And then you can either do, so I use the On Guard Concentrate Cleaner. You guys can see that. This thing is all purpose. You can use it for all kinds of things. You can use it for dishes, bathrooms. I think Catherine cleans her um, windows and mirrors with it because she was saying that it doesn't streak. Um, if you don't have the on, on Guard Concentrate Cleaner, you can use Castile soap and just do the same. And then you can use the On Guard oil itself. I actually like to add a little bit of flavor to it. I love the Citrus Bliss or the Wild Orange, and I add that to it. Ooh, Laura. Um, and then you put the towel in here, and then pour the stuff into it, put it on top, upside down, shake it up, let the towel soak in, and you have your um, paper towels, your wet wipes. I'm not gonna do this one because I actually, here's another thing too to, to know. This is one of the bounty heavy duty paper towels and it's very thick. So it's, it's too thick for this container. Um, so usually when that happens, I'll, I'll unravel it to where it actually gets to that shit, the perfect size. And then I'll put this extra and I'll make a smaller container and put it in the bathroom or in another room where I can use the rest of it. And then um, if there's too much liquid, just when you pull a paper towel off, just kind of squeeze it and it'll go back in there and then you can actually reuse your um, soap, your on, on guard soap. So that's the wet wipes. They're easy, easy, easy. And the on guard is um, really great. I actually like to do another drop of the on guard with the on guard concentrate just for my little peace of mind, especially now. We have to be a little bit more careful about germy germs and yucky stuff. So yeah, that's my wet wipes and I love them. They're fabulous and they smell heavenly. They're not, they don't have that toxic smell. You don't have to worry about, you know, anything that's going to be harmful to you. And a, you could pretty much lick your counter. I don't recommend it, but it's safe to do so when you're cleaning stuff with the wet wipes. <laughs> so yeah. And plus it would even taste good too. Yeah. And then my, my other thing that I have is, this one's like the easiest of them all. Is my carpet deodorizer. And I swear I just had it. Actually, if you want to go on to the next one for you, Catherine, then I'll okay. find my thing. Well, long as we're talking about on guard, in your concentrate. I use it for everything. I put it in my mop water. Um, I add a little bit extra peppermint and then that way um, I have tile floors all downstairs and with that little bit of extra peppermint that uh, discourages any ants or spiders or anything. It doesn't kill them. It repels them. They, it's, the smell is too strong for their system. And so they just go elsewhere, which is, is fine with me. But yeah, I put this in my mop water. I wash dishes with it. I have even put it in my laundry before I got the laundry or if I run out of my laundry. So, but what I love about this for um, the all-purpose cleaner, can you tell I like these bottles? Um, the all-purpose cleaner is I just put that in here and the first time somebody told me that I could use that on glass and that it had soap in it, I was like, oh, come on. No, seriously, no, it's gonna streak. But I trusted her and I mean, she's got nine kids and she's a nurse, so um, I was like, okay, I'll at least try it. Y'all, it works. I don't put a whole lot. And um, I mean, this is concentrated, so just put a little bit. But I don't, when I go around cleaning, let me tell you, I am not Susie Homemaker. Um, I want it simple as I can be. And I just, this is all I carry around with me. I do this on glass top tables, on my windows. 
um, the, on my countertops, whatever. That's my cleaner. That's it. Um, so, what uh, the, the other thing I think we talked about um, making was um, the bathroom spray. And I believe I gave y'all, did I give y'all um, labels for that with the little bottle? Yes. I think, yeah, okay, cool. Um, so this one has a couple more things in it. The, um, the glycerin, and the reason for the glycerin is um, a dispersant um, to, uh, if you don't put the glycerin in, it'll still work. This just keeps things, um, I think the term is emollient. So it, it helps them mix together. So you take the witch hazel and um, the uh, and the glycerin, and I just use my measuring spoons or not. A lot of times now I'm used to it, so I just eyeball it. And this one needs some more. So yeah, I measure in. Um, a teaspoon or two of the witch hazel and the witch hazel some people say alcohol to me i rather use the witch hazel because it's lighter but um it's the same principle it evaporates quickly and um then put in that just that tiny little bit of glycerin to help it mix all together and then you pick what essential oils um, one of my absolute favorite is bergamot. So everybody wants to put lavender in there too, typically. So, um, you know, there, mix up what feels good to you. Um, for me, when I'm mixing, um, citrus with like a wood type oil, like cedar wood or something, uh, any of the frankincense, cedar wood, myrrh, those ones that are more wood type, uh, uh, think trunk, branch, that, that sort of thing. You want to use less of them in your blend and more of the citrus uh, and kind of medium on the florals typically um, because the citrus are so much lighter. So yeah, mix that up however you want to and, um, and then just top it off with water. And so the idea being if you remember that you spray on the water in the bowl of the toilet before you go, and that will um, keep the scent, <laughs> the odor in the bowl, in the water. Uh, a lot of people at my house forget to do that beforehand. So one of the things that we like to do is go ahead and just take the, um, at the, uh, the toilet paper roll, the cardboard inside, if you just spray that on that cardboard a few times, then the scent is there and, and you're not spraying on surfaces and, and it helps it. So, so that is your spray. Eden, are you ready? Yes. So the carpet deodorizer that I love so much. By the way, I couldn't remember. I I, I feel like I did not tell you the tea, the tablespoons for the on guard concentrate cleaner for the wet wipes, and that was half a tablespoon and half to a cup of water, and then about ten to fifteen drops if you so choose to add some extra oils in there. Um, the carpet deodorizer is I do two cups of the baking soda and about 30 drops of whatever oil that you want. I love to do the cinnamon and the wild orange. And usually what I do is I'll get a bowl um, and I'll put the baking soda in there and then I'll do the drops and then I'll kind of stir it up with a spoon or a fork and then voila, there you go. I use one of the mason jars and I found this top 
at Michael's. I think it was at Michael's. Um, I would, I, it's, it really should have a sifter top, but this was the only one that I could find at the time. So um, it comes out quite a bit. So I just kind of like do a little bit to the side, but a sifter top works much, much better. Like the kind of sift you use it when you're baking. Those are really good. I actually make um, baby powder for my friends when they have babies and I use the ones with the sifters on it and it works really great. So that's it, carpet deodorizer. So you put it on your carpet about, I usually do mine a few hours before I vacuum and I just kind of let it sit and it smells heavenly. And then another little trick that I like to do is, um, I love cinnamon. Cinnamon is my jam. So I do cinnamon and wild orange in almost everything. And I'll do uh, cinnamon and I'll do a couple of drops on the little filter in the uh, vacuum cleaner. So when I'm vacuuming, it's just like, smells so heavenly. It's wonderful. So that's it. That's for the cup. I'd love well. to take that same uh, recipe, Eden, of yours and like for mattresses. So yeah. take it all off of there and then I'll put that on there um, and, and let it sit and then um, vacuum it off. I have four boys, so yeah, um, and grandkids and yeah, um, so it's great. Okay, this, if it's a 30 minute meeting, we're coming up short, so if we get cut off, I'll, I'll send you a new link. Um, so in your bag, usually we like to do these with you, and so we'll, um, we'll have the stuff with us, um, but since we are all doing everything virtual, I made you a, a package with the, um, the jar in it for the um, soft scrub. This is one of my absolute favorite. This is mine from my bathroom. Um, and again, I put the, um, the recipe on there with the label. So you should have your label in there, hopefully, if I didn't forget it. And um, in your jar, I ran out of these good sized jars. I like these short squatty ones because with this uh, wide mouth, because I can reach my hand in there. And um, I'll just, sometimes I'll just, I don't even get a cleaning rag. I just use my hands. Um, and, um, but I ran out of those for right now. So I have this jar as my example, but you should have your, Label, again, put your label on, right side up, yeah. Um, and then put the um, packing tape over the top of it to get it to stick. Do that first. Then um, you put the baking soda in. I'm not gonna actually do it because this jar is too small, but you put the baking soda in there and then when you start to put the, um, the vinegar, and you just need a little bit, the, um, I think I put a tablespoon in y'all's, maybe two if you have the bigger jar. Ta when you put that, yeah, when you put that in there, it's gonna start to fizz a little bit uh, when you put the vinegar in it. Um, so I go ahead and you should have a little yeah. bottle uh, in case you didn't uh, get doTERRA cleaning concentrate with your order, I put you a little bottle of it in there. So you can go ahead, pour yes. it in there. Put the vinegar pour. in a teeny bit at a time. Yeah. Otherwise you'll have a, a, a science project on your hands. <laughs> the, it doesn't foam as much with the on guard cleaner and the water, that's come why I put those in first, but don't put your essential oils in till last. So when you put the vinegar in, that's when it will start to foam. So I'll just put in a little bit, stir it up, let it settle down. Oh, Laura Smart, she's doing it over the sink. 
<laughs> and put that in there. And then once um, you go ahead. I'm sorry. Um, do we put in the vinegar or the on guard first? I would put I put in the on guard first. Okay. All of it or just one? I put all of it, but I just I just go slow. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, and if it, it you know if it if it starts to foam, just kind of slow down a little bit. That'd be a fun uh, project to do with kids. And I mean that's it, what we did. It. It's it's like, it's like, I'm sorry. Does a tea mean a teaspoon? Because you put two tea. Does that mean a teaspoon or a tablespoon? The capital T is a tablespoon. The lowercase T oh. is a teaspoon. Okay. Thank That's you. a good point. Thank you for bringing that up. So we'll have it in our report. But yeah, I mean, water, uh, pure, natural soap cleaner. Um, with the, with the uh, on guard blend, that wild orange, that clove, that cinnamon. Y'all, when I first started learning about essential oils, I had no idea how disinfecting the, um, how strong those spice oils, the clove and the cinnamon. And then it was like, well, duh, that's what your dentist uses when they go in to disinfect them on their teeth. That's that, that scent that you remember, the clove. Um, and it just smells so good. To me, it smells like holiday. Citrus and spice it smells like holiday. And then mm -hmm. at the end, when you put that, um, I gave you, just in case you didn't have it, uh, your, uh, some lemon. And that, to me, I mean, lemon, fresh, clean, I love the way it smells. And so then I make it up in these kind of small batches because you want to, you know, don't have any preservatives in it. Um, it has the essential oils. But um, if it starts, if it, you know, it's, it's old, uh, sitting around, you forgot it, and um, it gets kind of dried out, running out of time. We have removed the 40 minute time limit. Well, thank you. Okay, we're not running out of time. Um, it, if it gets, you know, it should be nice, easy to use, but if it's hard, just add a little bit of water or a little bit more of the, um, of the on guard and stir it up and you're good to go. That's it. How, oh. and I, and I love it on. It works so good. Stainless steel, yeah, great. Back to you, Eden. Did you have um, a Well, I, I just wanted to throw out there that bath salts are so easy, easy, easy. And I personally don't ever really use a recipe with that myself. I just get whatever container that I'm using. I usually do use um, the short mason jars that you, like you just had unless I'm making a really big batch for myself, like I have a big one um, <laughs> that I'm not using right now because I don't have a bathtub here. Um, why, 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 why? Anyway, um, so you just fill it up with the bath salts and then you put however many drops that you wanna put in, in the t depending on the size. So for that small one, like Catherine just had in that short jar, I would do about 10 drops of an oil, um, but I am a die hard. So I do about 10. Um, I think some people do about five, maybe a little less in that size. But you definitely wanna make sure that you put the oil in the Epsom salt. Do not put the oil into the bathtub by itself because water and oil does not mix and it'll float to you and just stick to you. And so if it's an oil that maybe is, um, what's one that's like 